Hello friends, so I am Dr. Gayatri, your Ops and Gain faculty. So INICT exams are round the corner. I do understand that you might be a bit tired and exhausted after the NEET PG preparations, but this is actually the time to gear up your preparations. This is a definitely a doable exam and believe me friends, the effort is worth it once you experience what happens inside the institution. So from today, I'll be starting an INICT 25 series in which I would be discussing 25 high yield topics from Ops and Gaini in simple videos. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the topic. So let's have a look at this question. So this was the question that came in November 2022. 35 year old female who is 34 weeks pregnant with mild to moderate anemia. And how are you going to manage her? The options were nutritional treatment, oral iron, IV iron or blood transfusion. To understand this, let's see what is anemia. Anemia in a pregnant woman is when the hemoglobin is less than 11. Unlike the normal reproductive age group where anemia is less than 12. So we would be dividing them as per the severity as mild, moderate and severe anemia. I want you to draw this line along with me and mark 11, 10, 7. So when the hemoglobin is more than 11, there is no anemia. When there is 10 to 10.9, it is mild anemia. 7 to 9.9 .9 is moderate anemia and less than 7 is severe anemia. So whenever such a question comes, I want you to see at two parameters. First is the severity of anemia. The second is what is the period of gestation, specifically whether it is less than or equal to 34 weeks or more than 34 weeks. So when the scenario shows there is mild to moderate anemia, the next thing I want you to look at is the period of gestation. If it is less than or equal to 34 weeks, we have plenty of time to wait. So we would be giving the patient oral iron. If I'm more elaborate, we would be giving her 60 milligrams of elemental iron and 500 micrograms of folic acid twice daily. In case if she is not compliant, we would be shifting to the next line that is IV iron. Suppose we give the patient treatment for one month and the rate of increase is less than one gram in one month. When the rate of increase is less than one gram per deciliter in one month, again we are going to shift to IV iron. So, the next thing is if the patient is more than 34 weeks. Now we have less time, so we would be giving the patient IV iron. Let's suppose the patient has severe anemia. So, again, I want you to divide them as less than 5 or more than 5, that is 5 to 6.9. So, less than 5, the 5 looks like an S, and we are going to consider this situation seriously. We are going to take the situation seriously. We would admit the patient immediately and give her blood transfusion. So the next thing is when she is between 5 to 6.9. We divide them as less than or equal to 34 weeks or more than 34 weeks. Less than or equal to 34 weeks, go with IV iron. If she is more than 34 weeks, go with blood transfusion. So I hope that simplifies any question that is going to come regarding this scenario. Few more things to note in this topic is the dose of prophylactic iron that is routinely given for pregnant women is 60 milligram elemental iron and 500 microgram of folic acid which is given daily for this woman. And regarding IV iron, the preparations that are available include iron sucrose and the other one is FCM or ferric carboxy maltose. This is calculated using the Gansoni's formula the Gansoni's formula. So this formula is the body weight of the woman into the 2.4 into expected hemoglobin minus the current hemoglobin plus 500. Just have a look at this formula. So what I want you to note in this is the weight which is mentioned is the pre-pregnancy weight, not the current weight but the pre-pregnancy weight. And what is the target hemoglobin? It is not 12. For a pregnant woman, the target hemoglobin is 11. So while we are giving iron sucrose, the maximum dose that can be given is 600 milligram in a week. So we usually give it as 200 milligram in three divided doses. Hope that makes it clear. Until next time, thank you.